you know, like a lot of people be telling me, Dave, you know, you just got to relax. The racism thing be bugging you too much. And I'll be thinking about it. Sometimes shit will happen. You know, a lot of black people can relate to this. Have you ever had something happen that was so racist that you didn't even get mad? You were just like, God damn, that was racist. That was racist. <laughs> I mean, it was so blatant. You were just like, wow. Right? You almost like it didn't even happen to you. It was like a fucking movie. That was a, like he was watching Mississippi Burning. Wow. That happened to me. I, I was in Mississippi. I was in Mississippi doing a show, and I go to the restaurant to order some food. And uh, I say to the guy, I say, I would like to have, and before I even finish my sentence, he says, the chicken. Said, what the fuck? I could not believe it. Could not believe that shit. This man was absolutely right. I said, how did he know? that I was going to get some chicken. I asked him, I said, how you know that? How did you know I was going to get some chicken? He looked at me like I was crazy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Now, everybody knew as soon as you walked through the goddamn door, you're going to get some chicken. It is no secret down here that blacks and chickens are quite fond of one another. And then I finally understood what he was saying, and I got upset. I wasn't even mad. I was just upset. I wasn't ready to hear that shit. All these years, I thought I liked chicken because it was delicious. <laughs> Turns out I'm genetically predisposed to liking chicken. I, w I, was, coming, I was coming from overseas, and uh, I don't know how this guy got a machine gun on the plane, but he stood up, man, he said, everybody, get on the fucking ground. Nobody look at my face. I started freaking out. Because he was Chinese, I was like, why is he talking like that? <laughs> he was screaming and crying. I was the only brother on the plane. Well, I, I thought I was the only brother. I looked over, there was one other black dude. He was from Nigeria. I looked over at him, he was looking right in my face, man. He didn't say two words to me, he just looked at me, he was like. <laughs> he didn't need to talk, I knew just what he was talking about. I looked right back at him, I was like. Some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us, they were like, oh my God. I think those black guys are gonna try to save us. Mm -mm. <laughs> we were just communicating that we understood the situation. We were both seeing the same thing. What we understood was simple. Terrorists don't take black hostages. <laughs> That's the truth. I have yet to see one of us on the news reading the hostage letters. Um, mm. They is treating us good. Uh, we all chilling and shit. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve and uh, send some new points. You're not gonna see it. And terrorists are smart. They know what they're doing there, you know. They terrorists. They know what black people's bad bargaining chips. They called the White House. Hello. We have got five black. Hello. <laughs> this shit is ridiculous. People worship television. They worship this shit. You know, like if you watch a movie, right? Say you're watching a movie and one character says to another character, say, hey, uh, what's your number, man? What's the other character always say? Five, 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 five. You know why we got to do that? because stupid-ass people go to the movies and then go home and try to call the characters that they just saw. Hello, is Indiana Jones here? No, motherfucker, he's fake. It's not his number. Listen, here it is. Technically, I never quit. I'm seven years late for work. 